hello guys my husband back in with another new video and today i have a really really great great seriously great new react component library now you may say that there are plenty of like plethora of react component library what is really great about it you will see what is really great about this and being a die hard tailwind css fan still i am featuring it and it doesn't have a single bit of line of tailwind in it still okay still i am featuring it because to be honest you will love this like love this component library and all okay so let's get started and see what do we have today right <music> Now today we have Mantin, and first time when you like land in on your page, you may like tell me that uh, it it looks like a bit of like a versus landing page or maybe uh, what I can say, uh, Keystone JS landing page that hero text hero text the heading text look like at. But uh, what I would say that actually it's sharing some of the underlying elements of uh, the same category because Vercel is using primitives, Redux primitives, Redix, Redix, Redix primitives, obviously. Okay. And what I think they are also using the same thing because uh, whenever I, when I was going through their icon library, as icon library, they are using Redix icons and uh there is no sign of tailwind css or like i haven't gone through their whole source code file but still i think they are using stitches over here that i personally think okay because as redix stitches obviously makes sense but uh what i can also find over here like uh, it is like the whole library is really accessible first of all ux friendly okay and a whole lot of more, more customizable and obviously great keyboard support great keyboard support okay so that are some of the features right away then we have obviously free open source you can contribute to their uh, code repo totally type scripts based and no annoying focus links i don't know why they have put this but i actually don't mind about it but in the components, they have really a lot of components over here. Okay. So if you go to date picker, you have single date picker, you have date range picker, you have auto complete, you have like this kind of section, like drop down section from where you can choose. And even you can search from it. See, see, even you can search from it. And it has an icon also, like great, right? Then you can pick multiples then here is uh, like number pickers simple number picker color picker seriously they are giving you color picker how much they have like uh, did the hard work for it they are providing you even color picker that no one no component library provides and those components are not just dummy components okay and obviously you can customize it and those components are not just dummy components they seriously have outputs like they have the use states also okay like if i open the model open the drawer obviously they this data will follow through your uh, like uh your uh, like go to your database or call your api and like do that thing this is not any dummy elements okay as you can see if i like click on this i can do that as well like great great stuff over here okay and really clean and easy that that they are really focusing on like yeah really great and if you go through like their content as well as you, as you can see like tons of uh things they are that components that they are providing and it's really customizable you can add your own brand colors over here 
if you want okay they have a really great support for that and then we have like a uh, really great dark theme and light theme uh, support natively that is also a great point and it is so easy to implement that uh, in real life then we have lock scroll like some of the usable things because obviously when you are creating model you obviously need a lock scroll or uh, for other purpose you can use it as well we have like click on outside to close the drop down thing so we have all of those basic things covered over here and the most most wonderful thing that is they are providing a full fledged rich text editor here see like how incredible they can be right seriously great things great things that they're providing i really love this love this component library and i am a die hard telvin css fan this doesn't include a single line of telvin css still i am saying you that like you can understand how much excited i would be to tell you this right like really really to be honest see all of the data was admin foods like great great i love it and they have like really great support for those frameworks like those modern day frameworks that is next year's can gatsby you can use it with uh, create react <coughs> <coughs> extremely sorry uh you can use it with byte and new remix they are providing support for remix as well that is also great so yeah really love their thing and if you uh, now uh, go to their components library you will like you will be overwhelmed with this vast number of components that you can see over here like there are too many seriously and obviously they are all of them are useful like all of them are useful seriously and they have even provide you this in their uh, like uh component as well like this command palette or whatever you may want to sell it like control k search bar whatever whatever you say it you can like name it it's actually kbd k b e t <coughs> sorry again so yeah this is it kbd see really great thing right really really great thing i loved it i really loved it and yeah that's basically about it that's basically about this whole website whole component library i am like really going crazy over it because i really love it i love it from my heart to be honest like full marks to it full marks to it okay so that's the thing and let me know if you guys also like this component library or not because obviously we made the decision we going to use this component library for our bahon yeah so yeah i announced it today as well because we really loved it and we sh we should give it a try right so yeah that's it for this video if you like my videos in general please do subscribe to this channel and if you know about some of the great component libraries like this but i will still not change my mind about bohon because i am stick to it but if you like really have some great suggestions like this please let me know about all of them because i love to discover all of those and i can share it in my future videos so i can so like many of us will get like we'll get too many help okay so that's it bye